The following contest has been sanctioned by the Second Life Athletic Commission and Rage Championship Fighting. The official on hand for this championship match is Royce Boa. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're live on Metaverse TV and this is your main event of the evening. This is for the Women's European Championship of Second Life. First of all, introducing to you the challenger. She is representing Fortress Fighting. She weighed in this morning at 100 and East Cape and more. And her opponent tonight, she hails from Bonn, Germany. She weighed in this morning at 147 and one half pounds. Ladies and gentlemen, she is the current reigning women's European champion, Moni Linderman. Well, folks, here we go. Championship action right here. Three out of five rounds. And there's that beautiful championship belt, Women's European Championship. It's on the line here tonight. And this is something else. This one's too close to call, folks. There's no question this one could definitely go all five rounds. And one of those tattoos. I wouldn't want to see her in a dark alley, that's for sure. And there's the bell, round one. Championship action. We're live on Metaverse TV. Of course, this is the one all Second Life has been talking about. Uh, look at Denmore. She comes out flying. She's throwing right hands like they're going out of style, but... Lindman fighting back. Lindman looking very proficient with her feet in there. Some beautiful kicks. And uh, wow, what action so far in this one. They are just letting the punches and kicks fly. And it looks like Lindman's got a little bit of the upper hand here. The champion dusting off a few cobwebs, and uh, what a time to do it. Unbelievable fast-paced action here, and uh, I can tell you, these two definitely are two of the best in the world. There's no question that you may see either one of these holding the world championship someday. And the crowd is going wild, and who can blame them? Look at the fighting action here tonight. The beast it looks like she's in a little bit of trouble, folks. The champion taking a tour here in round one. And look at that, Linda not letting up at all. She's just going right in there looking for the knockout. Denimore doing a pretty good job fighting her off, though. But she looks like she's pretty badly damaged. There's some swollen. And look at that, there's the knockout blow. A big kick. Roundhouse kick by Moni Lindman. And look at that. Round one goes to Lindman. Unbelievable action in that first round. And you can look, you can see the fire in the beast's eye over there. Denimore's ready to go. She didn't even have a drink of water. And she looks like she might be a little bit disgusted with herself after that first round. And I wouldn't want to be facing her now because she looks like she's wild in there. Wow, well, round two, this is going to be something to see. And President Royce Boas says we're just about ready to go with the second round, and there's the bell. Oh, look at the beast. Yeah, she, oh, she's coming out with a little bit of a new style here. And it seems to be paying off. She lands some beautiful combinations. She's playing with that unorthodox capo style, and you can see Lindman trying to adjust here in mid-flight. She's doing a pretty good job of it. Boy, she's not the champion for no reason. But the beast is coming on strong. Look at those powerful kicks. And she's flying all over the place. It's hard to keep track of her. What a job she's doing in there. And this one is quite even this round as well. Which way is it going to go right now? Lindman up one round to none. And we got Denimore with some of those capo combinations. But Lindman doesn't seem to be phased. She's not backing down. She's trying to get in there. 
If she can get inside her defenses, she can really land some big combinations. That would make all the difference. And we're about halfway through this round, and I don't think this one's going to go to distance. These guys are really punishing each other. This is one that could definitely go five rounds, no question about that. It's back and forth. And I don't envy Royce Bowe's job here if she has to score this one. It is high fly in action, and both competitors now looking tired. I mean, this is one blow away from a knockout from this round for sure. Both competitors wind it, and they're still going at it as hard as they can. And look at that, another round for the champion. Another round for the champion. So we're 2 nothing for Lindman. And, oh, wow. That one could have went either way. I almost get the sense of one more blow, and Lindman could have been down. And this is unbelievable. These guys are going to need a little breather. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we're ready to go with round number three. Just a bowl ready to go. And the crowd has some great anticipation for this one. Lindman's up two rounds to none, but I'm certainly not counting out uh, Carrie Denimore here. She's far from being done. This one could go either way. I, I'm not making any predictions. And it's certainly within the beast's ability to come back with three straight uh, rounds. There's no question about that. But, with that being said, it's not going to be easy. It's going to be an uphill battle. But if anyone can do it, it's Carrie Denimore. And here we go, round three, the bell sounds. And look at this, it looks like Modi Lindman's a little bit tentative. She doesn't want to make a big mistake. She doesn't want to lose a round here. She knows that the Beast has the ability to come back, and let's see what happens here. What a night of mixed martial arts action here. Of course, in that first fight, Debo picking up a big victory, and the fans are still buzzing about that one. Who is Debo, they're saying? Well, I had a feeling we're going to be seeing a lot more of that lad in the future. And in the ring here, Women's European Championship is on the line. And how about the champ, Moni Lindman? She's holding in here tough. A lot of people felt she was the underdog coming in this one. That was the talk today in Second Life. I was at the coffee shop this morning and it seemed like most of the patrons are saying it looks like that the Beast, she's unstoppable. But you can never really count a champion out, that's for sure. I certainly know a lot of people are counting Debo out today. In Vegas, they had him as a 9-1 to underdog going up against Dice Snook, and he's just shocked everyone in the mixed martial arts world. And in the ring here, we got another close round. What action we have here. It is just back and forth, back and forth. Two great competitors. You're not going to see much better than this, that's for sure. And we got Lindemann and Denmore just trading, trading combinations back and forth. This is an epic battle. I'll tell you one, the only thing for sure is that after this match, both fighters are going to need a lot of recovery time. Because you know they're going to be hurting for sure. And the Beast holding on for life here, down two rounds to none. And the champion, she can smell victory. It's within her grasp now, that ladies' European championship. She wants to go back to Bonn and have the big parade there in Germany on her behalf. The mayor of Bonn has already started planning it. That might be a little bit premature, but... And look at that, maybe it's not premature. A big roundhouse kick. She drops Sherry Denmore. And there we go. Moni Lindman has defended her ladies' European title three rounds to nil. Ladies and gentlemen, what a night of action here at the historic Rage Fighting Arena. And here we go, a great show of sportsmanship here between these two top-notch competitors. And what a night of action. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for coming out, and this concludes another super show.